by squeezing the pips out of the game season. It's just hours before the bell tolls, and that's it for another year. So we're here with Andy and a team of guns out to make the most of it. All that's left on the menu are pheasants and partridges. The woodcock fly free as they finished on the 31st of January. But as we arrive, crow spots parakeets. There's one or two about, keep hearing them. They've seen it all before, they keep out of the way. Any ash trees or any big trees that have got holes in, that's where they nest. And they're pain really because uh, the holes they nest in are the ones usually the, the woodpecker, woodpeckers and that nest in. So, yeah, get James down here with his bird table and peanuts here. He'll be quids in, won't he? Last day though today? Yeah, last day today. Yeah, a bit of a, a clear up. These drives, some of these drives haven't been done. This, this drive haven't been done for three weeks, so there's always a lot of birds in here. So it'll be interesting to see what comes out today. The guns have been told to make an impression on the numbers. No silly shots, but to focus on the cock birds, which is what Andy tries to do anyway. As they line out, he offers some advice to some visiting guns. He's seen this shoot deliver some great birds, and it pays to know what to expect. But don't worry about me. If you want to come up that way a bit, if they're coming up there, come up there. Don't worry about me, because I've had enough shooting. So. There's very much an end-of-term party feel among the shooters. Crow's cousin Gary is here with his family, and even though there's pressure to deliver a good day, it's a relaxed affair. Plus one, he comes here, he nicks me birds, and now I've got myself a new pair of glasses and he's nicking them. Very nice, baby. Very nice. I don't suit him. Give us some back, you... The first and second drives are not too busy, but they whet the appetite for the rest of the half-dozen drives set up for the day. Right. As we wait for the beaters to bring the woods in from miles away, we ask Crow about the pigeon prospects for the early part of 2016. There's some big numbers about. I know further down in Kent, they've got some maize that they haven't harvested yet. Uh, so that's holding a lot of birds. It's looking good at the moment. And there's not too much spring stuff to go in around here this year, which is quite nice. We're putting some loopings in this year as well. We've been uh, asked to grow them on contract for, for seeds. Uh, and as you know, we had a a few good do's on the loopings last year, so yeah, I, I'm hoping it's, it's going to be a good year. We had a good year last year. The farm he manages in Kent puts him right in the drop zone for incoming pigeons from the continent. The weather hasn't been great to ferry the guns around the British countryside this year, but the ground drains well here on the North Downs, and the wet and the wind has kept the birds close to home. On the third drive, we understand how they feel. Andy's peg is right at the top of the valley. The conditions are grim, but the birds should come motoring out of the cover. I hope we're at the top of the bank. See how it goes. These will be challenging burns here. They have the wind up there. Up there are, so they'll be going like the clappers. But that wind is getting up. David's cold. After a quick coffee break, it's drive number four, and Crow knows he's in the mix here, and it usually produces a lot of birds. Point. Game four dark storms stopping them in their tracks. Yeah, that's good fun, that. Nice birds on there. A few going about me. You know, there's a couple there, must be a bit close to you, were they, David? <laughs> the bag is building nicely and Crow is enjoying his last day. There are clearly a lot of birds still around on this shoot, so what will happen to them when the guns are packed away? The good thing is here with Les and Mike, they keep feeding them right the way through until around harvest time when there's enough natural around to keep them going. What a lot of people do um, for a bit of extra income, they catch them up for the game farms for breeding. 
there's too many cockbirds about, they thin them out, otherwise they just fight and they just uh, pester the hens all the time. Drive six is Crow's favourite, but he thinks he's on the edge of the action up here. If they do come near, he has his X-ray vision to assist him. He's been sent some very nice pillow glasses to try out. If people are using them on clays, why not game? Well, you had a look through them earlier, and you can see the difference. Especially in the, you know, the light starting to go a bit. It really does bring it out. And earlier on, shooting into the, uh, it was a bit brighter earlier on. And I've got a different set of lenses on. And uh, oh man, the difference it does make. finale to the season. Cheers, Liz! And to top it all, Crow wins the sweepstake, being just one off the 339 bird bag.